so on this episode five of In the Booth, um, I'm here with, the, well, who are you here? Are you Field and Stream? Or are you La Rosa's? Or are you uh, Huffy today? Who, who are you today? I wear many hats. <laughs> Walk me through that process. How do you go from account to account to account? I mean, it, it, that's got to be fairly difficult, right? It is, um, but I've, I've had a lot of practice. While I'm, I'm new here, I'm not new to the world of creative writing or trying to write in you know, what's called somebody else's voice. So it mm -hmm. could be a person, a brand, um, whatever. And I think part of it, the more you do it, the more you get better at it, just like anything. But there are things you can do to help you kind of get in. We make fun of people that say in the zone, but that's really what it is. And it's just a level of a focused thinking that's not your own. Biggest thing you can do, honestly, is study. And it's a big time investment, yes, but you know, you do it enough, you're gonna get to the point where you're not gonna have to think about, oh, would this brand say this? How would this brand say this? Um, I wrote for a comedian before, and as I was auditioning for him, um, I collected every interview, every piece of stand-up he ever did, every, every piece of media that I could get my hands on and just listen. Made that transition from shutting off my voice and going into his voice almost seamless. And, and so you bring kind of that, um, that perspective along to, to the brands that we're working mm -hmm. on now. And, and so it's a matter of going through and reading all of the media coverage about them, reading the different company quotes and, and what they talk about, reading what they're doing existing in, in social media and, and how they blog. And, and just so, so you're in kind of absorbing mode mm -hmm. at that point. There's uh, there's not really anything you're creating at that point. No, it's just, just reading and listening studying. to everything, right? And also it helps to study your your consumer um, because you know you might have this idea of a brand voice, but for instance, I pick a, any random celebrity. Let's see, pick a, who's your favorite celebrity? <laughs> My favorite celebrity. Um, <laughs> let's go with uh, Michael J. Fox. So Michael J. Fox is going to have a certain way of speaking. He's going to speak differently to his children than he is to his wife. Right. So who's your consumer, the wife or the children? He's going to talk differently either way. So you need to identify not only the voice, who's he talking to and how's he talking to them. Is he an authority figure? Is he joking around? Because Michael J. Fox is going to have different modes either way. Mm -hmm. Um, so this really just, again, goes back to preparation and study. It is a time investment. It is. Mm -hmm. It takes some time to, to get used to how, how that brand talks. In one morning, you might be talking about hunting and fishing, and then later that day, you're talking about um, bikes or, or pizza. Mm -hmm. How do you switch that light on and, and off so quickly? It seems like a silly answer, but do not underestimate the power of music. So say that you're talking about hunting and fishing, you know that persona, you know your customer, what are they into? Go to Spotify, hit a country playlist, just get, it gets you immersed in that mindset. Put your headphones in, just get down and work. It also helps to sometimes just walk away. Sometimes you could be sitting on this one line of copy for an hour and brain strain, like muscle strain, is absolutely real. So sometimes just giving yourself the right to walk away for even five minutes, um, just come back, refocus and since you did all of your research you can back up on uh, you back yourself up on sometimes it, it helps. I do have one so more tip that I think people tend to forget about well, by all means share so it we with, talked with about knowing the brand massive voice. audience yes all <laughs> tens of ones of you um, so it's important to know the brand's voice but it's also uh, very important you know your own voice okay as a, as a person as a writer what are the things that you like what are the things that you think are funny and not so that you can necessarily put that into an account, but you need to learn the difference between I think this is a good idea versus I think this is a good idea for my brand. Do you for think there that no matter who you are, if you're if you're a content creator, you you kind of follow these tips and tricks and, and you can do this, that you can get into anything. Could I do go and create really good content for a makeup brand or a women's fashion brand? I don't see why not. If you know your your voice, your audience. You know, you're a good writer. There's no reason you can't do that. Steven Stilettos, I like that. Steven better. Stilettos, That's your there fashion we go. Blog name. Maybe, maybe we can switch this <laughs> out for a guest spot, Steven Stilettos. Um, <laughs> well, thank you for, for these tips. I mean, this was really helpful to me, and I think it'll be really helpful to people um, throughout the agency as they create so. content. So <laughs> thanks, and uh, we'll see you episode six.